All right, hello guys. So, usually when you see a math question, you'll see there's only one or two operations. Maybe it's division, maybe it's subtraction or addition or even multiplication. However, what happens when you have multiple operations in a question? That's when you use something called bed mass, and that's what we'll be talking about today. So what does bed mass stand for? Bed mass stands for B for brackets, E for exponents, so n to the base x, where x will, would be your exponent, D would be division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. So this is the order that you would be required to solve a question with multiple, with multiple operations. So before we go on, I'd like to kind of review how exponents actually work. So if you look at the first question, 10 to the power of 1, this basically means that 10 is being multiplied just once. So all we do is just write 10. However, in the second question, we have 1 to the power of 8. In this case, 1 is being multiplied 8 times. So we basically write down 1 times 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 1. In the end, it all equals to 1. In the third question, we have 7 to the power of 2. All this means is that this is 7 times 7. So if you simplify that, it equals to 49. Now what I'm going to do is actually give you a couple of questions to work on your own. I'll give you some time to pause the video and solve these on your own and in a few minutes you can play the video again and the answers will be shown shortly. Alright, hope you had some time to kind of figure out how to do this. Hope you got your skills intact. Let's see the answers. Okay, so let's go on to the next couple, uh, a couple of questions. So I think there's another five. So I'll give you some more time to pause the video once again and go over these five questions. All right, I hope you have enough time. Uh, these are the answers to the following questions. Okay, so now that we kind of know the what BETNA stands for um, and, you know, the order that we should actually work in and we have multiple operations, let's actually go ahead and try to solve one. So, the first question I have here is 5 minus bracket 8 divided by 2, close bracket, minus 4 divided by 4. In this case, according to bed mass, we would have to do the brackets first. So, Look at the brackets, 8 divided by 2. So let's simplify that. We write the whole question, so 5, and then subtract. And then what we have to do is do the brackets, 8 divided by 2, which equals to 4, and then rewrite the rest of the question. The next step is exponents. However, in this question, there are no exponents, so we can go on to the next letter, D. Division should be the next operation. So after our simplified, um, our simplified uh, expression, we can actually see that the, at the end, of, uh, the end of the question, it's 4 divided by 4. So let's simplify that. So rewrite the rest of the question. And 4 divided by 4 would equal to 1. According to bed mass, the next should be multiplication, which we don't have in this question. And then we would go on to A, which is addition, which is still not in this question. And then lastly, we would look at subtraction, which is in this question. So 5 minus 4, and then subtract 1. So that's just 1 minus 1, and then which equals to 0. The second question. This has a bit of different operations compared to the previous uh, question. So we can see here, if you look at bed mass, we would have to do brackets first. So that's 4 divided by 2. 
so that would equal to 2 and then we would have to do exponents so that's 2 to the power of 3 so rewrite the whole question and just um, expand out what 2 to the power of 3 would actually mean so that would be 2 times 2 times 2 so that would equal to 8 so we would rewrite as 20 minus 8 times 2 and then if you look further down after exponents it would actually be division which is not in this question so we can skip on to multiplication so 8 times 2 so now you would just rewrite 20 subtract and then solve for 8 times 2 which is 16 and then finally you have the answer 4 now what I'll do is actually give you some time to solve the following bed mass questions I'll give you some time to pause the video for a bit and then I'll show you the answers um, shortly so go ahead start now all right I hope you had some time to figure that out here are the answers and don't forget if you have any confusion or any questions please comment down in the video and I'll be happy to help as soon as possible now if you look at bed mass we actually saw that the D and the M and the A and the S have actually special rules because so far what we've seen is that they the, like each of the questions have only one of these operations but what happens when we have both and that's what we're going to see now so when you do have multiplication and division in one question you would have to do multiplication division from left to right so that's the rule so in this case we have 4 times 5 divided by 10 we would have to do 4 times 5 because it's the first that comes from the left which equals to 20 divided by 10 and then we would simplify this further which then equals to 2 the same thing applies for this question in this question multiplication once again is the first operation you would work with so 3 times 9 which equals to 27 and you rewrite the rest of the question and then you would do 27 times 2 which equals to 54 and then after this you would have to division you would have to do division so that would equal to 6 so I'm going to give you some time to do the next two questions so pause for a bit and solve them you can start right now all right I hope you had enough time to finish that here are the answers so just like multiplication and division addition and subtraction also have the same rules so while you do well if they like if both of them come in the same question you would have to go from left to right so in the first question 10 plus 4 minus 6 plus 7 you would have to do 10 plus 4 first so 10 plus 4 is equal to 14 and then you write the rest of the question next would be 14 minus 6 so that's 8 plus 7 and then you would simplify this further to 15 in the second question same as before addition and subtraction from left to right so 92 minus 65 would equal to 27 and then we write the rest of the question and then go ahead simplifying even more by doing 27 plus 75 which equals to 102 and rewrite the rest of the question and then simplify this even further which equals to 82 so once again I'll give you another two questions to solve on your own so pause the video and you can start now all right hope you had enough time these are the answers